Hello, and welcome to our Shanghai video. This is Jess, saying hi. And I'm Andrew, enjoying an open window. Anyway, we're on our way to Xijiazhuan Chending International Airport. More specifically, Terminal 2. Like most of the city, the airport has been built for the future and it's currently under capacity. As a result, it's the most relaxing airport I've been to, as you'll now hear. On the other side of security, there was a bit more noise provided by the toy store flying drones, something I doubt I'd see in Heathrow. For Ten Yuan, I also treated myself to a massage chair. Soon enough, it was time to fly, and we were given the surprise that our window seat was lacking a window. Oh well, we're going to Shanghai! Our first glimpse of the city skyline was at the Shanghai Tower and the Shanghai World Financial Centre. The Shanghai Tower looks like a giant chimney and is the world's second tallest building. However, it is not yet open to the public, so we visited the Financial Centre instead. Whilst the city looks good in the day, it looks even better at night. Having decided against a submarine adventure, we decided to go to our hostel. Not knowing how else to cross the river, we reluctantly travelled through the Bund sightseeing tunnel. Having heard nothing but terrible reviews, we were not disappointed. Costing 50 yuan, it is a train that takes you for a tunnel of flashing lights and disco music. Here it is, sped up 16 times. Mm -hmm. 
On the other side of the Huangpu River, the city was extremely busy. After catching another glimpse of the skyline, we headed towards the hostel. Due to the large crowds drawn in for the May Day holiday, a number of metro stations were temporarily closed, and the army were visible throughout the city to prevent overcrowding. Eventually, we made it to the Blue Mountain Bund Hostel where we were staying. Exhausted from the day's travelling, we briefly enjoyed the view from our balcony before saying goodnight and hitting the hay. <laughs> Number three. Yeah, much better. Lucky we didn't go up today. We left the hostel at 8.30 to try and beat the holiday crowds. We were on our way to the Yu Yuan Market and the Yu Garden. After the gardens, we went to the Bund. On this street, you can see both the historic financial centre of China and the ultra modern Padong district situated on the other side of the river. Having taken a lot of photos, we headed shopping in many of the enormous malls. To my amazement, this one had curved escalators. I've never seen anything like it. Mm -hmm. Having been to a few shops, we explored. We then relaxed in the People's Park, where there appeared to be some sort of umbrella convention. Thank you. 
In the evening, we headed back to the Bund to see the skyline at night. Due to the bad weather, the tops of the tallest towers were hidden in the clouds, testament to their height. Despite the rain, we were still able to see the enormous adverts on the side of the buildings. To get a better view and escape the crowds, we headed to the Captain Bar on the sit floor of the Captain Youth Hostel. It's free to enter, providing you buy a drink. The bar offers a relaxing area to wind down at the end of the day and has a superb view of the Padong district. On our last day, we said goodbye to the band and headed towards West Nanjing Road where we could watch the Mayweather Pacquiao fight. Which Mayweather won. We then hopped on the metro and arrived at the Jing'an Temple. The temple was originally built between 2020 and 2080 AD. However, it has since been relocated turned into a plastic factory, destroyed in a fire, rebuilt and finally opened to the public in the 90s. Mm. Whilst I'm not sure if anything original remains, it is still nice to take in the atmosphere and have a walk in and around the buildings where a number of statues are on display. We then went to Jingan Park. <laughs> After Jingan Park, we went to check out the brand new Natural History Museum. <laughs> 